services during the pandemic. All right. Okay, so what you will see is a graphic coming up um, that is going out to the rest of the staff here in just a little bit. I like to do a, a weekly update on Thursdays, but I did one um, I'm doing a little more often right now just because I like our people. we're still serving them so I wanted to make sure that we were sharing that information with the public as well so so far in the past two and a half weeks we have delivered uh, 4,693 meals and had uh, over 1,300 picked up almost 1,400 picked up in the drive through process in two weeks yes 6,000 meals yes <laughs> so uh, since September 8th that's where we are bless that poor I know right um then I wanted to share with you that we have still been getting community materials out. So, so far 175 literacy kits have been distributed to our daycares, uh, $7,200 worth of literary resources that came out of the grant that Ms. Sarah Kelsey presented um, a couple of months ago about. There's also a newsletter that she's put out for you guys that are on your desks there too, going over the initiatives of all those different kits and what went out. Um, Book kits have been gone out to local churches so that they can use them because we have some local churches that have inquired about doing some tutoring for kids. Uh, on Sunday afternoons after church, they're staying behind and helping them do their NTI. So um, we appreciate that. So we're trying to give them some information and ways to help kids. Then um, we have kids that are now enrolling in the Imagination Library from Dolly Parton. So we're really excited about that because kids get books every month delivered straight to their homes that they can keep. All right, so uh, under tech support, we've got the Wi-Fi turned up in all of our parking lots. We have three spots out in the rural areas, and then we have three community hotspots from different businesses that have allowed us to utilize their parking lots. Um, if you look at the total Chromebooks that have been loaned out to, to uh, homes, 2031. That's a lot of Chromebooks that are out there. Uh, as far as COVID testing, we've been offering with KDMC on-site testing, and uh, it has already been offered at Gray's Branch, McKell, both McKells, the high school, and Wortland Elementary. So uh, staff have been taking advantage of that, and thank goodness I can brag and say I need to find real wood somewhere. We have had zero positives uh, from any of these testings. So um, our RTI, which is something Mr. Cotton always wants to know how we're doing with, so I will tell you, Mr. Cotton, uh, we are still bringing kids in to close the gaps and doing small groups, uh, even on days whenever we're on NTI. So if you'll look there, um, some schools focused on all grades, some school, schools focused on uh, different grades at different times. Uh, a lot of them were really worried about the primary, kindergarten, and first. So they were bringing those small groups in because they have the most difficult time learning online. And uh, at the high school, they're doing Google Meets for homework help. And had we not got to come back in, they were gonna start bringing kids in as well. So, um, and then as far as student engagement, for our special needs services, we've had 115 students either be tested for special needs or screened for services such as hearing, uh, vision, and speech, and OT services. And then 182 one-to-one -one special service sessions have been delivered to students since September 8th. Um, we've had 21 school-based home visits based on the map that I gave you guys the last time about the re-engagement. And I think Ms. Powell spoke to you about how that we were gonna go out and find these kids if we weren't hearing from them. Um, so we have 21 that were based from the school. Someone from the school went out and did it. And we, as promised, the district has backed up our stance and we are helping them. And we have already completed 26 home visits as a district just from uh, Mr. Collier going out to the schools. So um, we cannot say enough about our staff and what they've done to re-engage kids and get people involved in the school system even though we're having to do it from a distance. What, at last count, uh, last week I asked how many students have we not heard from? They gave me the number 12. I asked that question again this morning, they gave me the number five. So I feel like we're getting there. 
So um, basically, I just wanted you to see what we were still accomplishing uh, on a personal basis for our kids uh, beyond the curriculum. And then, of course, as you know, lots of NTI and virtual learning going on uh, behind the scenes. So, How many do you feel like we've had, because I've heard that the virtual is a little harder than what mm -hmm. people were expecting. Yes. So how many people do you feel like have jumped ship from virtual back into NTI? You know, it's actually about even because okay. some went NTI into virtual because when they found out we were going to have to, we were coming back on the 28th, they didn't want to come back quite at that moment. Uh -huh. So they enrolled in virtual. So it's really, uh, I think we were at 880 is the last number mm -hmm. that I got. So that's still, that's about right. That's where we were. So if they now enrolled in virtual, they will need to, they will have to stay into virtual until? December. December. Yes. Okay. Well, I think everybody will agree. Everybody knows how hard you all have been working not just here, but all in the district. All throughout the district. I'm and really proud of them. From what everybody has said to me, they were tickled to death to be able to get their kids back, hear those buses mm -hmm. rolling in this week, to actually get some kids back in the building and be able to teach them that way. So, yes, yes. and it was kudos a very to everybody good, in this it, district. Yes, it was a very good day uh, in Greenwich County Schools today. So, it's very yeah. exciting. Okay, I just wanted to share that update with you and uh, we're going to finish. Question. Yes. Near RTS. Uh huh. I see where Argolite is uh, K through five, one to one instruction to close gaps. I'm looking at WES down there, K one, one to one assessments. Yes. Everyone had a different need and a different focus. So for instance, Argolite is a little bit smaller, so they were able to go all the way up into fifth grade, okay. getting some resources. Okay. Alright. And then you got the middle school, work with middle school. Two students have attended one to one. Mm -hmm. Just two? Just two. Everyone else seems to be doing on task. Now that's just regular education, that's not special education. Correct. Okay. Any other questions? Okay, uh, I don't think there's any delegations. Alright. Uh, acknowledgement of personal act, personnel actions. We just have to acknowledge that. Mm -hmm. um, could I, the next is approval of consent items. Is, could I get a motion to approve the consent items? Motion. Mr. Royster. Second. Second, Mr. Warnick. Anybody need to talk about anything in here? I did, <coughs> you did cancel. We are going to hold off on all the building use requests until... Yes, those have been held off until we know where we're going with the pandemic and how things are... Are we going in all, on any guidelines with that or is it kind of, you know, like if we go back to green, are we going to open it back up or... We're going to wait and meet with the health department. Our yeah. first goal was to get the schools open to kids. Oh, and yeah, And once absolutely. we get the schools open to kids and see that we can sustain that, right. that's our first criteria, is being okay. able to sustain and not have to jump off and go straight into red again. Or, well, you know. one of my concerns was, is that going to be, you know, if we are allowing the public in for a building use, or do we need to take into account that, you know, there's going to be needed more, more cleaning done? Exactly, and that's another reason why we're, we're waiting until we can do this part successfully. And once we can do instruction at. successfully, then we'll look at what we can do on weekends. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's move on into old business. Oh, old yeah. business. What was it? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, all those in favor? Uh, uh, five zero. Thank you. Working. Special um, works condition is so helpful when you've got a mask on. <laughs> Next up, non-consent agenda. Please consider the recommendation of Superintendent Moracy to approve the 2020-2021 MOA with Ashland Community College for dual credit as submitted. Can I get a motion? Motion. Mr. Cotton, I'll second that. Same as last year. Um, I think we have a few less that we normally do, but then we're picking up a few more because the ATC is now going to start offering dual credit in their um, side of the building. So the kids will have opportunities to earn associate's degrees in actual certifications. That's great. 
So it's a good trade off. Right. Thank you. So, like, uh, again, my associate's degree in like electricity or welding, yes. some kind of construction trade. Or they could get certified, Carl, but they couldn't, they could get a certification, but you can actually get an associate's degree in that also. Yeah. And then we go on top of a, cer a certification, which say that you get, you know, they get their certification for residential electrician. They get an associate's degree, they can apply that to a electrical engineering degree or something like that. They could, you know, further it on with it. Okay, thank you. All right. Any other questions? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Five zero. Next, please consider the recommendation of Superintendent Moracy to approve the NECO Memorandum of Understanding for School Based Mental Health Services as submitted. Can I get a minute? Can I get a minute? <laughs> Yeah, you know, whatever. <laughs> I'll make that motion. There you go. <laughs> Second. Any questions? All those in favor? Aye. Five zero. Next, consider the recommendation of Superintendent Moracy to approve the district funding assurance as submitted. Okay, the motion. Motion. Second. All right, Mr. Cotton and Mr. Warning. <laughs> Questions? I calls first. No question? <clears throat> no? How much is it? <laughs> no, this is an actual submission that I make to the state assuring that we are spending all of our money as it is supposed to be spent. So if we are going to give money to uh, schools to reduce class size, then that's really what we're doing with the money. If we're spending money on special <coughs> needs, then we are actually using the money for special needs. So basically, it's just something that I have to sign my life away on with your approval saying that we're going to spend the money the right way. So believe me, I don't take it lightly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I went through each one with a fine tooth goal. How many lives you got left? Um, <laughs> you know, I'm definitely losing my cat like reflexes. That's how I'll leave it. <laughs> All those in favor? Uh, uh, five zero. Next, consider the recommendation of Superintendent Moracy to approve the FY21 working budget as submitted. Could I get a motion? No. Go ahead. Mr. Thank Cotton, you. Mr. Royster. <laughs> <laughs> Questions? Are we on the budget? Is that what you said? Uh -huh. Yes. You went pretty conservative, didn't you? I did. With what she had to work with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we received notification that there's going to be up to an 8% reduction in funding, but we have been given, we've only been given information that that won't be SEEK. Right. Um, so there's a lot of other funding sources besides SEEK. So. Um, really, we. I had a quick. We can kind of put this into uh, the Volkswagen thing. Mm -hmm. Do we have any other buses older than 2001? Yeah, so so we were actually going to talk about that. Um, we have one. So we have um, a gentleman coming on Thursday to talk to us about some specifics because um, it's we're not sure. More difficult. It's a little difficult to. We're, yeah um we have to cut it in half we do and we've got to cut a hole in the engine block yes right and it's our responsibility we have to advertise it still right. um, uh, that's some pretty what are we talking about here your so, neighbor stuff so there's a much. there's a program available it's a, a approximately nine bill okay. nine million dollars right. to the state that if you have buses older than 2001 i believe was the the um, was. date um they they handled the emissions incorrectly or something. Volkswagen oh, now they got better. control. <laughs> All right, so they said this is part of that settlement, mm -hmm. and it's a shall issue. Anybody that applies will get money. Will what they're going to do is pay fifty percent. They are going to pay fifty percent, but only only if they the have fifty percent to pay. So if every district in the state applies for this money like colt said it's a shallow right. issue so all we have to do is apply for it 
we would only receive a prorated amount. So oh, okay. our bus could go from being 50% funded to 30% funded in just based on the amount of people who are, um, who have applied. We also don't know the bus that um, qualifies is a handicap bus and we've purchased in the past few years through our KISTA program um, some very nice handicap buses and we have, we, we have all of those that we need currently. So we're hoping um, since the bus type is the same, it's a type C, um, that we can purchase a, just a 72 passenger bus as opposed to, to the handicap bus. That's one of the questions we're going to get answered. It did say Thursday. in the, uh, the PowerPoint presentation that it, it did not, you did not have to match it with whatever you were getting rid of. It just had to fit the criteria of the bus. <coughs> And I can't, but it's the type, right? Yeah, and it, it went to, I don't remember the letters, but it went all the way, you know, it was like yeah. A to D or yeah. something like that. Yeah. And um, their major concern is the emissions. So we have to take right. this new bus and mul multiply the the miles that it's going to be in use. And that's going to be our, um, that's going to be like our substantiation for why we should receive this money because we're going to reduce emissions by this percentage and like colt said it's a shallow issue so we're going to receive the money it's just how much money is there going to be available to receive and unlike kista this is something that we're going to have to pull out that i have not budgeted for which is why we want to talk about it um that it would come straight from our contingency. Yeah, that's so it's going to be a $50,000 or more hit from the general fund um, based on how much money we're, we're going to receive back from the state. So, we, so we're, we're talking about replacing that bus? Yes, we have talking? to destroy that bus. It can't, we cannot surplus it. We right. have to, it has to be cut in half at the frame. And um, now, it doesn't say anything about the body of it, so, I mean, I guess we could technically take the body off of it and surplus that. We can. Wanted it for, for like a camper or whatever. A camper or mm -hmm. deer shed, you know, hunting cabin or something. Yeah, we can still surplus it. It just has to have a, a hole drilled in the motor. Storage and... building out back? Well, I mean, You need a new storage building day. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be perfect. <laughs> like pretty down there. Yeah, houseboat. <laughs> Here's your you dock. You need a houseboat on dock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, uh... Up to 50, and that's off the base price. It mm -hmm. does not include any, you know, you know how we get those underscore, you know, under. Uh, no add-ons. No add-ons, all right? Yeah. I was thinking, and this is just my opinion, is if we can get offered something like that. Now, what does KISTA do? Well, how does that work? So KISTA is just a very low financing option over but a it's period not dollar, of years. They don't match. Correct. Yeah, there's no. There's no discount no. or anything. It's just a low interest loan. Right. Okay. I thought about, you know, maybe this could be an opportunity for us to maybe try the natural gas route. And try it with one of our buses, you know. Natural or propane? I think it's LNG. I think it's LPG or LNG. I, actually, I think it's a natural gas. I don't think they do the propane. The only thing you have to check is to make sure that those um, would be would qualify. Well, not just that, but can that bus with that type of um, oil actually take big hills and things like that that we need to be able to take with these buses? As That's far as question. you know, everything that I've studied on it, it, it's same horsepower, same torque, same everything as what a diesel engine is. Um, but will it hold as much fuel so that you can? That's what's going to be the issue is because there isn't this? the refill yeah. stations and stuff. So, you know, a you can refill it. They do have a place in Lexington. So, I mean, a trip to Louisville. <laughs> yeah, we refill. don't have the, and we don't and have. And we don't have the infrastructure here. No. So, I mean, that would be an added cost. I just, you know, I think I would, I would like to look into something like that. I thought they were pushing the LP gas at the at the conference. I thought I thought everything was natural gas, not it, not the LP. I don't think it's. I don't think it's. Actually. Well, I, I it heard say it, if it's LP, LP is easy. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Well, we'll know more once we get to actually talk to the rep. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. Can, yeah. We I'm not trying to get us off topic. Off. Yeah. We can sub just submit a detailed 
email back to you guys. The application has to be in um, by the end of, I think, the second week in October. But that, the application doesn't appear to me that it holds us to well, anything. Here, it's simply we're just question. applying. Do we have to take this bus out of service? Yes. Okay. We do. We take the money. So, so we're going to have to take it out of service anyhow. So I'll do it. No. Oh, you mean, I'm sorry. Yeah, you mean pre-2001? There's nothing in there that I've seen that you have to take that out of service. But if you take this money and you buy a new bus, you do have to destroy. Remember how they did the cash for clunkers? All right. Same thing. They poured that thing in it to where it wasn't running no more. And, yeah. yeah. Well, now they're, you got to cut a hole in the engine block. Yeah. A three-inch hole. So if we accept <laughs> this money... We have to take the bus out of service. Okay. So do we need a new bus? Um, I, in speaking with Mike and Tommy and Ray and the mechanics, our fleet is in great shape. Mm -hmm. I was not even going to come to the board with um, a recommendation of KISTA this year. Of course, you would have had the, the um, information and, and, you know, Tracy could have made a recommendation if, if she chose, but... Um, after speaking with Mike and, and the mechanics, our our fleet is in really good shape. Can the, you said we cannot use Kista? Correct. With this. That from everything I have read, it cannot. It's it so cannot it's be financed, be and it's something that we'll ask for sure. But yes, so it would come out of contingency. It's not something that I budgeted for. Thank you for being so informed about it. And also how like KISTA works is if we purchase the bus this year, our payment actually isn't due until next fiscal year because the bus doesn't even come until May. Mm -hmm. I'm not even sure if that's how this would work anyway. So if, is this something that it would be a this year's budget item versus a next fiscal year budget item? Um, don't I, I don't know. Because I know now with you order the bus in November and it, it, we don't even receive it until April, May, the earliest. And first payment's due in August. Any other questions? No. I think I answered my own question. Oh. <laughs> so oh, we'll, really? then, I knew we'll, was. <laughs> we'll summarize our meeting and put it out there for consideration. Obviously it's it's not an item we'll would vote on we we have to pass the budget but it that doesn't mean that it's not something that we um, move forward with and certainly it's a pretty well, big item <laughs> it's a pretty big item ask to see so. if we could get approved for it and then find out what the if yeah. we can get the full 50 percent on it yeah it's hard to it. it's it's hard to turn it down to turn down a half price bus but yeah. I was so thinking, you can apply and, and then not take it. Yeah, that's what we're going to find out. The application to me doesn't have any verbiage that would hold us to it. And Jimmy, I can send it to you and you can give your opinion on it, but there's nothing that really. Because if they come back with you're only going to get 10% funded. Yeah, that would be my argument. That's my argument. Yeah, if, if we're, if, if, the, if it changes, the percentage changes, which we're not going to know until everyone gets their applications right. in. Okay. The way that I understood it is that it did not have to be, it had to be a certain class of bus. Mm -hmm. And with us doing this virtual, the meals and all this stuff, I got to thinking more along the lines of, you know, trying something different. You know, and of course infrastructure is going to be a huge deal mm -hmm. on, I don't even know what that would cost to put in something, mm -hmm. either LP or LNG, whichever one it is. Mm -hmm. um, but or doing a bus, um, a full-size bus platform with no seats in it for, I don't know, the band or for the, you know, for equipment, mm -hmm. you know, like a, or a football team or something. Because how many buses does it take now to send the football teams on one? I don't think we got that relaxed. We, we, we got that figured out, yeah. You're good. It's not like it was. Mm. We used to have rides on top of us, so no, I don't know. No, we don't do that. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. But um, just to, due to you COVID. You have to have a bus for equipment now and, and a bus for players. You can't, you can't put equipment and players on. Yeah, that's what, that's what I was thinking, so. But we've already got. Yeah, trailer. So. That works good. Mm -hmm. 
All those in favor? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Five zero. Well, it doesn't look like we need to go into executive session. So, anybody have anything else? All right. I get a motion for to adjourn. Okay. Mr. Warren, second. Second. Mr. Royster, all those in favor? Uh, I still have to get this water. Five zero. Sure. Okay, here's just that. So, yeah.